Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Oman and today I will react to the top 10 hilariously bad album covers. I've yet to look it up but I think that I've watched this video because it was a recent Watch Mojo video. Uh, Watch Mojo bad album covers. Yeah, hilariously bad album covers. I've, I've already seen this. I believe there are some um, song covers on there that are pretty recognizable, but others that are very obscure and you know there's a reason that they were forgotten, so there you go. Or they didn't get any notoriety in the first place, so there you go. They chose that as their cover image? They chose that as their cover image? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 hilariously bad album covers. What is Dems of Death? What even is that? I do like the guy in the middle though, the fucking, um, just death, I guess. But everything else is fucking terrible, so there you go. Good album though, good album. new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. On this list, we'll be looking at albums by artists who either left too little or just way too much to the imagination yeah. to represent their work, leaving us roaring with laughter or generally disgusted. Everything is fair game here, whether it be lewd, crude, or just plain wrong. That horse looks concerned, yeah. I'll tell you that. Number 10, back to the no. Millie Jackson. It's a widely known fact that everybody hoops. However, we all don't need to be remembering this whenever we put on some music. Millie Jackson. Tell you that. Oh, this one. Number 10, back to the <laughs> Millie Jackson. This is literally like a woman, like having this peering pressure face of taking a shit and her panties down her pants. Yeah, I get it, she's taking a shit, so of course. But when you see that, do you really, you know, do you really want it to be a cover? Like, why? This doesn't make any sense. Everybody poops. However, we all don't need to be remembering this whenever we put on some music. Millie Jackson, however, went out of her way to remind everyone of their natural bodily functions with her 1989 album, Back to the Shit. And then I'm gonna do it to you someday! Featuring a 45-year-old Jackson sitting and straining on the toilet with her panties around her ankles, we don't know who to feel worse for, her or the people who bought the album. However, we might actually feel worse the latter for the flower pot. But if you're that retarded to buy an album that has a woman on it taking a, taking a fucking shit, then yeah, you kind of deserve it. To the image for aesthetic purposes. Why is she holding one of her like uh, shoes in her hand? What the fuck is she doing? I guess some kind of squeeze toy or something. Or what the fuck? Oh yeah, fucking bones up at the crack. Like this is just an. Rippled ACDC band. Number nine, up at the crack. They're even showing Thunderstruck footage of ACDC right now. Like, what the fuck, man? Who doesn't love a good dose of powerful rock and roll? Musically, this ACDC clone hits it out of the park for rehearsing their predecessor both, sound. Both fans, oh, maybe. They seem to fail in the cover department by leaving very little to the imagination. In a genre of music where sexual innuendos are key to creative songwriting, this album cover just left Creative songwriting shows Def Leppard, sure. Laughing at the poorly sure. guitar neck sticking out of an unknown man's open. Creative songwriting, pour some sugar on me, baby. Along with an AC creative. style font for the band's name, they lost a lot of points for originality and never truly made it as big as their heroes. Maybe next time they will be more metaphoric. Their cover's pretty funny though, the fucking up at the crack. Pretty funny. Eight, I love my life, Jim Post. And I love my life. <laughs> it's basically just a fucking guy half naked, like some kind of uh, how do you say that? Um, the janitor of your school or something. He's half naked. He's like under a waterfall with the biggest mustache. <laughs> what the fuck is this picture? <laughs> Oh my god. 
for courageously bearing it all for the camera in what we can only assume was an attempt at channeling a 1970s shampoo commercial. If you shower in the yard, you might be a redneck. Instead of a glamour okay. shot, however, the public got a bizarre sure, and hilarious image of Jim staring at us with a semi-crazed look in his eyes while being rained on by a torrent. Yeah, that's Lucas fucking crazy. That borders on Herbie, this album cover provides way more questions than answers. Considering country She's just throwing it away at a fucking junk and showering in your backyard. Number seven. No. Sedone's Paradise. Sedone. Modern art. That is a cringy picture. Artist Mark Sedone surely did when he conceived that exact combination for his second. The fuck is his music video? He also threw himself in there wearing a zipped open white jumpsuit. The music doesn't sound that bad to be honest, but that all gore. Thrust into weirdness overload. More worthy as a piece of performance art, the original cover was released only in Europe, while the North American market got a way more toned down image of Sarone wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, However, just really zooming in on the guy and just kind of censoring the, uh, the girl in the fridge. Or kind of just zooming in, zooming out of her, I guess. Tiles still made it into the final product. But the entire picture, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Iron Maiden. Dance of Death, Iron Maiden. Yeah, it's probably gonna be Tim Hill. Or maybe just that Death guy. I do really like him though. Double take. Iron Maiden fans surely got a run for their money in 2003 when the popular heavy metal band released this monstrosity. A mashup of yep. terribly it's pretty good on that, but... that would make a first time Adobe user flush. Fucking cover, man. This laughably bad cover was actually an unfinished image created by artist David Patchett. Already featuring standard heavy metal. Death on the road. I think that a matter of life and death is way better, to be honest. Way more progressive. What they got was a confused mosaic of mannequin like people and so it's a video game. Yeah, but even Iron Maiden has their own video game line now. Like, what the fuck? There are, you know, bears and shit and clothing, you know, merch, of course. Video games, you know, Maiden has it all, really. Justifiably removed They're fucking Iron Maiden, so of course. Yeah, that's a nil. <laughs> He's like, don't touch this. I'm married. Yeah, I, I, I won't be taking you. No thanks. And in fact, artists like Michael Jackson and Prince were topping the charts with fun points yeah. and slightly bizarre Beautiful. album covers. Spanish pop Beautiful star man. Tino Fernandez decided to give the sexy vibe a go with his first solo album, Por Primera Vez, and failed miserably. Who would have guessed? Seen groping himself while lying spread legged seems a little much when considering that Tino was 16 years old at the time. Although oh. the album itself garnered attention in Spanish speaking. So he's like trying to horn up other guys or girls or whatever. I don't know what his demographic is, probably both. And if they touch that, if they hit that, then they will go to jail because he's a minor. That's some scumbag behavior right there. Fuck that kid. The cover has outlasted the content in the yep. 30 plus years since its release. All of them do arguably if this fucking just Number four. Oh, Ken, yeah. By request only, Ken Snyder. <laughs> this album cover is so terrible. <laughs> like you have this one guy just like sitting there in the back. That's an okay picture, I think, where he's just sitting and he's just like, you know, taking uh, just a picture of himself with this wooden frame behind him. But then you have this picture next to that, where he's like all zoomed in, it's literally, literally the other half of the album is literally just his face. And he just has the creepy, creepiest look ever on that fucking picture. Just like that, you know, and that's that's that smack on the fucking cover. So if I would see that, I would be fucking terrified. I would like, I would not consider to buy that. And I, and I think that most people have the same mindset. Don't judge a book by its cover, but we kind of do in this video. So there you go. And I actually talked about this album on uh, the video that I just watched, the fucking Stevie T uh, Jared Dines video. So they they discussed it there. And the fucking Crash video, the, the Rock Critic video. So it's quite an infamous album cover to say the least. Sometimes the biggest flaw of an album cover is the fact that the artist's face is on it. Christian yep. pop singer Ken Snyder didn't get It can be done right though. Is there like, yeah, you know, I guess 
Uh, oh well, of course David Bowie. I love his album covers with his face on it. Low is amazing. To, uh, from station to station. Uh, Ziggy Stardust. Uh, Aladdin Sane is fucking iconic. People dress up as that album cover for fucking Halloween or something, you know? It's that iconic. So, love, love Bowie uh, with his album covers. And uh, Kate Bush, I guess. Prince, you know. There are artists that use it very well in, in there, or they use that stuff very well in their covers. And you get great music as well. But Ken is not one of them. <laughs> Sadly. Ken is not one. He's yeah, looking like a runner. Ken sold copies of his record out so of his car after gaining a following in gospel music. He surely must have I'm more interested in Maquette than I am with this video. Yeah. Cover depicting what could only be Always. described as a wax sculpture of a serial killer. However, exposure on the internet has led this album cover to become a meme of its own. Yep. With those sideburns, it's not hard to understand why. The mustache too, that is so... Pedo. Just Jesus. Oh, Dolly Parton. Bubbling over, Dolly Parton. Yeah, I don't get the cover. Like, she's behind, um... Like, there's this fucking mountain or something, or it just looks like squirt or something. Like, some water squirting out uh, from the river or something, or from her pool. And her face is on top of that, like, with no body or something, just her head. And then she's behind that, and she's standing there with her entire body, but included with her head. So, is that head a fake? Is this head a fake? Why is water on the cover? Why is Dolly Parton on it twice? It doesn't make any sense, to be honest, but, you know, it's Dolly Parton, so I don't really care, I guess. At first, you don't succeed. Maybe don't try again. No. Nope. Country music superstar Dolly Parton became the subject of ridicule upon releasing her 12th studio album, Bubbling Over. Already featuring an image. I mean, I'm gonna give this, uh, you know, Dolly Parton and Iron Maiden. Maybe people ha hated that I, you know, um, say them in the same sentence or something. I'm sure that no one hates Dolly Parton that much. I don't hate her that much, to be honest, but. She is very generic and, you know, she's just very, just bland and kind of uninteresting. But at least Iron Maiden and Dolly Parton are actual artists or, you know, they, they're artists that you've actually heard of. So I will give her that, but outside of that, yeah, I give or take really. And I'll just, what did I just say? No. Take or leave, I guess, I'll, I'll leave it. That's what I meant. decided to add a second part and face magically appearing in the waters of a sprinkler. Obscuring the image. Yeah, why? In fact, horrible. Why does she do that? Or her director or whatever. She probably movie. doesn't give a shit. We get that editing technology has advanced since 1973, but this image could have been left on the cutting room floor. I don't believe what a dumb bitch. She's like looking at her clock and spilling her coffee, coffee all over the place. Coffee. Coffee. To to be Number two, bestiality. The handsome beasts. I was kind of like at first, I'm just seeing like a cute pic and like this big dude, which is kind of a pic as well. I was kind of like, oh well, you know, it's not that disgusting to be honest. It's kind of cute, you know, animals and this hippie dude. But then I saw the title again and I was like, bestiality, really? That title makes this a bad album cover. I, I was kind of like at first, it's kind of, you know... It's just kind of like a PETA, um, you know, kind of hardcore animal uh, loving cover or something. I didn't really mind it. But, you know, I forgot that it was named Bestiality. So, Jesus Christ, that is disgusting. Like, whoever that guy is, he, he probably gets made fun of for the rest of his fucking life just because of this fucking cover and title. While heavy metal music seems inclined to offend those who aren't in the audience, this one certainly... Sodom is fucking on. awesome though. Can of course pretty good too. ...lead singer Gary Dalloway caressing a large pig. This album sought to discuss just about anyone who dared to look at it. The British metal band obviously did not learn... They are a metal band. Large man and pig theme well, they didn't give a shit, I guess. ...years later on the cover of their equally badly designed album, 04. 
Although, oh, what I the fuck? To them for sticking to their guns. Before we reveal our top yeah, I mean, at least they have the balls to release it, though. But, I mean, that's still really fucking dumb, though. Having an album, you know, like that, and calling it bestiality, bestiality on top of that. That is just... There's just a no in every direction. For a few honorable mentions. Sour Cream and Other Delights from the Frivolous Five? The fucking. The fuck means that. The fuck does that mean? I hate that cover. Uh, what, Waking and Dreaming by Orlea. Orleans. I mean, to be honest, it's not that bad, to be honest. Like, there's just a bunch of naked guys where, you know, not a huge fan of that, obviously, but I mean, they seem to have a good time and they seem to just smile. And I think that the, the lettering is pretty nice. So, uh, I think this is probably the best album cover so far, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the only thing that is kind of creepy about it is like that uh, second left guy staring into my soul. That's kind of creepy, but I started that. Um, you know, I think it's alright. It's not really my thing, but it doesn't really look bad, to be honest. Handsome man, so... In Darkest Africa by Anna Russell. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's pretty dated. Like some uh, Af African people hunting this one white woman who is like in Hawaii in clothing or something. Or she's like trying to hide herself up. Yeah, that is kind of racist, so no. I mean, for the time it probably made sense, but it's so fucking... It's so racist right now. Um, In Darkest Africa, on top of that, that's the title of them. Oh yeah, Pooh Man. <laughs> Number one, funky as I wanna be, Pooh Man, MC Pooh. Funky as I wanna be. With a name like Pooh Man, you're bound to turn some heads. However, when you want to match head-turning monikers with gross imagery, you get Rip funky something. as I wanna be. Rip my earbuds. Rip my eyes. Although a witty play on words, the fun quickly turns to disgust upon seeing an album cover essentially featuring Pooh Man, for lack of a better word, exiting a woman's body. More conservative views of the picture could say that the gangster rapper is merely looking into a woman's spread legs. But given the obvious puns in the album's title and the name Pooh Man, it is pretty obvious where the joke is going. It doesn't leave much to the uh, imagination, I have to say. Fuck no. Do you agree with our I mean, is it really the worst album cover though, or hilariously bad? I, I guess it is the most hilariously bad one, so I guess it's number one. So that is this video, uh, we can look at the comments for some, um, you know, we can just look at the comments in general, I don't know where I was going with that. <coughs> so there you go. Mm. This is the last time I let Mojo Staff go through my record collection. Oh, you kind of shit taste that to be honest. I'm, I might buy that Iron Maiden album though, but I mean, I mean, I said that everything is fucking terrible, so there you go. I was working in a record store when that Millie Jackson album came out, my co-workers uh, and I all cringed. Nice. I wish I could take much mojo of my playlist, y'all nothing about music, movies and video games, and it shows. You wish you could take much mojo of your playlist? You mean your subscriptions list? Um, that's not that difficult, mate. I can fucking show you. Like, I'm watching this rocks video right now. Just go to this button and click unsubscribe. I'm not gonna unsubscribe from rocks because rocks is fucking awesome. But um, if you're not a fan of what mojo, then don't subscribe to them. I'm gonna dislike that fucking comments. I wish I could stay with Mojo on my playlist. I mean, I'm literally just gonna fucking comment to him. If you don't... If you don't like their content... 
Well, no, this this guy's too retarded. I'm, I mean, I'm not. No, Sid Voorhees, you're fucking dumb. I do like the name though, Voorhees. That's that's kind of like Vaas, I believe. No Far Cry, so there you go. Thank you uh, to Pooman for being pro cunning. Cunnilingus, suck it, DJ Khaled. I don't, I don't know what that word is. Cunnilingus, what the fuck? Tana just copied the thriller cover. Um, yeah, the, the thumbnail. He, yeah, he's just lying there. He wants to be thriller so bad. He just wants that money. Yeah, now no, I just said I didn't even fucking see that, but there you go. But I mean, you know, you, you're not, you're not black, so you can't imitate thriller. But, uh, but I guess. <laughs> the white album version or something. I'm getting racist as fuck right now. But but, but, I, but I mean, a uh, trailer is fabulous. I mean, just how MJ lies there and how he just like you know how he just chilling in that like glittery white suit. It's just fucking perfect. Black backdrop. Great. Naming one here. Hefty fine by Bloodline Gang. You'll see worse. This list brings trust i cannot speak anymore but yeah i think that hefty fine is that one cover with the fat naked guy in a box isn't that hefty fine they have an album cover like that i know that hefty fine yeah that is their last album for a fucking reason just a naked guy lay uh, just lying in a box like what the fuck is that album cover they only made four albums, luckily. And they're all fucking garbage, of course. 1995, 6, 2000. And that was their best album. Hooray for boobies. Nice. And then Hefty Fine. But like a dollar sign in there? No, no, I'm just fucking blunt. I want to see some green. That thumbnail, though. Yep. Love Sexy by Prince came to mind. I laugh, I laugh every time. It's a it's a work of art, shut up. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> they even described Love Sexy and Thriller um, to be like really major albums or something. So that was actually a compliment for uh from Watch Mojo. Number one, T series diss track album, PewDiePie. Finally, a worthy opponent, our battle will be legendary. Yeah, but I mean PewDiePie is like 5 million subs behind right now, or like, I think nearly 10 million right now, so... Yeah, I mean, we can look at that, these comments are fucking boring, so there you go. T-Series, and whenever you type in T-Series, it's fucking, um... It's PewDiePie, you know, you get right, right behind. Yeah, PewDiePie is like 10 million subs behind right now, 109 million by uh, T-Series. Oh, and PewDiePie just made a 100 million. He's still main playing Minecraft. I mean, come on, man. It's not a bad game, but come on. There's so many, so much better. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think his next video is going to be, oh, I made 100 million subs or something. Because of his last video was like 20 hours ago. Oh, and he's getting married with Marsha. Well, congratulations, PewDiePie. Uh, glad to see that. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, and he's gonna he's gonna fist his fans if he gets one hundred million subs. So be prepared for that. Uh -huh. So that's it. Um, there you go. Like and subscribe to the channel for future lives on. Let me know what you thought about the video. Uh, that was kind of it, honestly. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.